Hopefully I just sand it off and use some steel wool to really get off the graffiti. And we'll see if I can get it back to its original. I'm only touching up the drum today, so I will do my best to uh, encourage the powers that be to come back one day and touch the whole wall up. Yeah, it's right in the sun. I, I didn't realize <laughs> it really, I mean, that, that's, I guess, sun is really the, uh, is, is the enemy of a mural. It is, and there's also a lot of water that comes in through the top and seeps into the brick from behind. Mm -hmm. So that's the true enemy. The water behind, the sun fakes it and um, yeah it's it's a challenge but nothing is meant to be here forever we're all we're all just part of this moment and I'm I'm happy to share this moment with people who walk by and want to stop and enjoy it and realize the significance of our city I'm just glad it's finally getting done because you would come by here and see it and it just it, it kind of made you sad that this was such a it is such a powerful mural and there was the graffiti there Yes, the city said, please, before you head out of town, can you come down at your convenience and touch this up? And I said, certainly, I will make sure I'm there Memorial Day because that um, adds a level, level of significance for everybody. So describe when you did this, who's the soldier and, and what you tried to do here? All right, so this is a follow-up to the first mural. This is another piece of significant Fredericksburg history. So it is called 1862. And the 1862 is the year of the Battle of Fredericksburg when many troops con converged into Fredericksburg, had a pretty massive battle and a lot of casualties. I think if we suffered the extent of this war on our soil today, um, the numbers really reflect the significance of this um, terrible moment in history. But once again, it is a moment that we can't erase. It's here, it's part of our history, it's our story. The Battle of Fredericksburg had many troops from all over the country. And this young man right here was actually a reenactor during one of the Civil War reenactments in town. He's 12 and he's been doing this with his father for a while and he couldn't wait to turn 12 so that he could officially represent the youngest member of the fighters, the drummer boy. So you saw him and did, and did you, what, you took a picture? Is that how you I did, did this? I did, I got verbal permission and the dad and the son were very happy to pose for me. And it was just uh, one block from this very spot, which makes it uh, really special for me that I got to include a real reenactor. I had no idea. That is such a, a great, I just thought it was just somebody that you, you saw in a picture or something, but it, 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 is, it is actually somebody. It's him. It is him. And I'd love for him to get in touch with me one day and check in and let me know his name at least and, and get his little background information. I'm sure it's, uh, I'm sure he's gone on to many more reenactments, but um, you know, it's not just about the, the reenactment. It's also about telling the story. That's why the significance of the leaves is so special for me. Uh, the falling leaves, um, 13 of them represent the 13,000 Union soldiers that died during the war. And the 4, le four leaves at the bottom represent the 4,000 Confederate soldiers that died here. So there were significant losses on both sides. And that's why I feel that this mural can relate to everybody. And I really tried my hardest to design it with sensitivity and thoughtfulness. I didn't realize just, just the precision, just even in touch up that you have to do. Yes, and you really determine how far you wanna go with an image. And uh, yep, this this couldn't be a more complicated part of the mural, but that's all right. It's, it's working out. And once I get the rope to be a rope and the letters to be a letter, if you think about it, the Civil War, um, soldiers that sat around the campfire had hours and hours and days and days to put their um, time and effort into this beautiful drum so it was a, it was a campfire activity that I'm sure they didn't knock out in an hour I'm sure it was a labor of love and they the drums were something that the boys cherished just to get it done and mm -hmm. just to get it back to almost normal you've got to feel good about that I do. I'm really excited that the city um, cares and is supporting the arts by saying, hey, let's let's fix this. Let's keep it an important part of our city, especially since the new Riverfront Park is hmm. going to be opening soon. So I'm super excited to be contingent um, to be adjacent to that. Well, it's, it's known as the 1862 mural. 
whenever you talk about it and now to have it now to not also have to say yeah and it was vandalized you don't have to say that anymore nope i won't and you know what it, it happens and life goes on